For what? She do it during the interview. Yeah, she asked the exact same. Uh, what was the last time you did acid? Because what and what do you do? It's not relevant. Oh, my name is Mal. What do I do? You see? Play guitar and sing. Uh, my name is Quest Reginald Johnson Louise the third, and uh, I am the sole writer for the band. So I write all the songs. I write all the melodies. I don't mean to interrupt, but do you remember when we listened to this? He's also the stylist. Yeah, I, I do all the all the costume design too. I don't know what he's talking about. What are you talking about? The end of this video when the guy did just the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Once removed? Yeah. Technically, by marriage, might, like a marriage thing, yeah. We might have to just all, all play based on That'd be cool. Like, like man, have like a dumb bass type thing. That would be really good. So how was tour? Sorry guys, can't go on. No more fries. It was uh, long, and we were trapped in a snowstorm at a recording studio. We were recording a new single, uh, released on Black House and Tech House. And then, what else? We did a radio show with uh, the Coon. We played some real favorite songs. We played Fanny Grand. We played Hong Kong. I also played The Clash. Devin was stuck at home. I'm just not stuck. Uh, he was stuck at home and he didn't have a bar. He couldn't have keys or anything. And he didn't have his phone with that, so he had to stay home. So he actually met up with us. I was going to say, didn't he didn't take Devin on tour. Well, we wanted to. No, he met up with us eventually. And we all based in the hot tub that for us. Did he play any of the shows? He played some of the shows. All the shows? Yeah, he played. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on exactly there. It was a tour to the other one. I'm pretty sure he only played that one show. Yeah, Quest only played the acoustic show. Yeah. In Salem. Yeah, it's happening. Nobody's there, but I'm kind of. We were in the middle of Charlie's case for another one. And uh, this guy just started applauding like, yeah. <laughs> Where was this though? Where in Oregon? This was at a place called. Was it a sports car? It was not a sports car. Oh, wait, that was in Vancouver. That was in Vancouver. It's not in Oregon. It's uh, Donald. Oh, Donald. Don Ellis. Don Ellis. <laughs> and then after that, I think. Are you serious? Oh, garbage. I bet it's still recording too. Me too. It's the best part about it, is it? Turn the screensaver off. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how to turn that off. All right. This is important. This is important. What were we talking about? Oh, right after we played that acoustic show, we did karaoke all night long. Nice. So that was awesome. We did Walking on the Sun by Smash Mouth. Did a little Willy Wonka. Did you sing any Atlanta? Good, Willy Wonka. Yeah, pure imagination. What are you doing? Karaoke, and you don't sing Atlanta. It was hilarious. Where are you? I did something. Oh, I did find you. Yeah, 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 I did find you. Yeah,
good thing. I think we did that. Uh, we did that Foo Fighters I, song. We did like all my life with Foo Fighters, but for some reason the the backing track for the song was a whole step down, and it said that in the in the like description for the song, and we had no idea why it was, it was the worst. It was awful. It was pretty awful. It was funny. Everyone was like, Who would know that off the top of their head how to sing a song? I had no idea. And you couldn't really tell because, like, the backing track was just like, because you know that riff is just like, duh, duh, duh. it was just like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> So, how long were you in the band before you left? And when did you so you moved away right yeah um from 2011 or 2010 when the band started until 2000 i think it was 14. yeah it was 14. it was like right after um, springtime i moved and i was like moving around for a little while and then came back to idaho and was at in Idaho for a while, but then moved not long after that, so I've spent more time um, since then out of Idaho, but then I've been back here for two years now, so. Oh, okay. So did you, did you, did you like, were you traveling the whole time, or? Um, not exactly. I just lived in Seattle for a while, and then oh, okay. I moved from Seattle to Oregon. When I initially left, I was living at a uh, barter fair site. Sorry, trail, yeah. No. no. That, that was much nicer. That one's that one, much nicer, larger, fair. Yeah. Well, that, but it, that was a smaller section of mm. the much. That that one's uh, spiked masket. Ben from Rockmonger's trying to get me to uh, rent a space at the next barter for the big one. Do it. That would be really set up like a tent. Like a black house like, 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 That would be really Yeah, he said it's like hella cheap. It's like, it's like a festival and you it's pay awesome. like 150 bucks. Yeah, well. you could probably sell merchandise. I told him I'd be down. Like, I don't really care. I'd go. It'd be fun. Give, give a place for... Hey, I want everyone to help her and then find all of the sweetheart. And, uh, His Facebook persona is it's very aggressive. Facade. It's That's all facade. I know about it's him. It's almost like me being a nice guy at facade. Ask anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, you and really you and Ben really seem to have. Uh, have you guys actually even met in person? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, once so I met all the shows. Because I remember when when I signed you guys, right? We had your album come out, and then the Robmonger record came out. And I don't think you guys like knew each other. Mm-mm. And I don't think any of the bands really kind of knew each no. other at all. Like you know, and, it's funny. It's an unlikely friendship because, <laughs> like. Rotmonger's the noisiest band on the planet. We're sort of a pop band, but I mean, like, we have, like, ultra and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's what people kind of understand about us now. Yeah. 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 You guys are pretty versatile. Yeah. I mean, it's not, like, there's never been, I mean, for me personally, like, there's never been one. You guys don't really, like, fall into one category. It's true. We're definitely not bubble grunge. So. So it's a cool name, though. Everyone stop saying it. <laughs> Are people referring to Alterna Metal Pop? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Is it sexy? Alterna Crust Core. Oh, that's pretty Alterna good. Alterna Crust Core. Joel can appreciate that. Uh, so, your next tour. Is, wait, no. You're going to. Where are you going in February? We're going to Alabama, Quest and I. Tell me about Alabama. Never been there. It blows. <laughs> it's awful. The people there are awful. And is that where you're from? <laughs> is this just where your parents went? Everybody out, take like, note. Matt discriminates against everyone <laughs> from Alabama. I hate it. Um, I remember when his there. parents moved there. It sucked. We wound up having band practice like constantly. That's when he was uh, living in Edward's basement, and we had like the entire half of the basement sectioned off as our band practice equipment area. Yeah. And so it was just like pretty much every day. I was so sh- there. shout out to my parents for moving because if you didn't, we would have band practice constantly because I wouldn't have been living. In we wound up writing some good songs in that time. Yeah. <laughs> we actually mostly got our act together. I feel like at that point. Yeah, that's we actually were- when we started playing. Uh, mostly at the Grail every we, single weekend. Every weekend really we played at the Grail. Were-
have, have they talked to you about this? Have you guys have they started that? We've been focusing on like, we, we have to get songs, enough songs together to play shows, but maybe coming back to the band to so be it was kind of odd trying to practice because we were like, all right, let's 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 throw down the songs that we already know from the past and then try to figure out. So we're playing like that. We're playing like first album songs that we've never played before just so we have enough songs to play a show, you know. So there are a couple of really old songs that weren't even on the first album that we didn't have a good enough recording of. So one of those is Box, and I really wanted to re record that one at some point because yeah. I feel like at this point we can polish it up a lot. And yeah, it's did like, you, were you, did you guys, were you part of the, of the songwriting on this record at all? No. None of it? Um, but the last record, though, right? I'm trying to think if there's anything we would use. Well, um, I don't know exactly what song the so, one before this was. The oldest thing that we have on there is probably to live the day before, which you were in the band when we wrote the, when we wrote the thing. So But I wasn't in any of the I know, but as far as like a creative process, I think we had the and that was one of the songs that recommended as a single when we first when we first started. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put that I think we should put it out as a single song. Because I, I really like the idea, because you, I mean, you saw that it's picking up steam again with the album. Yeah. Where, which is good, because I think we should have like a two year thing for each album. Just, just feel more, you know? Well, it feels more comfortable than one year and then album out and then. Yeah, well, timeline wise, it's like. Why, why, like, you know, why get systematic with it, you know? I mean, yeah, some bands yeah, take like four years, <laughs> whatever, before they put out a record, yeah. So, yeah. So it'll probably happen really fast just because Matt always winds up like tripping over himself to recording everything as soon as it comes to him. That's a good thing, too, because it also like keeps track of ideas. I think that's part of the reason why he's a much better writer than I am because he actually bothers to like write down every single thing that occurs to him and record like every single thing. The and other we, night we were supposed to practice and he like recorded everything that we played nice. and then he and I just wound up accidentally getting me too drunk. <laughs> yes. I wound up accidentally puking over the floor. I blacked out the first time in my life ever. Tell me what we're listening to while you were drinking. My last memory is listening to Nickelback. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. And then, 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 we did already talk about that. And Matt has a song that he wants to do sing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a new like song a I wrote so um, today it's called Cartooner. And it's just gonna be me singing it's not no, I'm not gonna play guitar. But um uh yeah, I mean it's gonna be way different, like plus has written like four songs for the album, maybe has a song that she wants to put on it. It'd be kind of cool to see like harmonic bass parts. Like, well, that's what I'm saying, and that's what, that's what some, some of the sections, sections on a bunch of tracks. Like, some of the stuff Quest and I are doing guitar wise is like the Boston, like guitar harmony. Yeah. I was kind of scared to push for it because I felt like that would just be like the easy route and all I know is bass, so I'm like, oh, I really want to do two basses, but then the other day um, when I when we did the radio interview um, and Quest was playing, I was kind of like hearing a lot that I could do on a bass, like a lot higher up so that it's not like... I mean, well, and I mean, who defines like what, what position you play in a band, right? like about, I mean, you guys can... Everybody kind of does a little bit of everything. That's what I like about that is because, like, um, like it's kind of cool. Like, it's just a melody, you know. So if you have one melody, it's not any different than a guitar playing a melody. If you have a bass playing, yeah. Or if you sing a melody, yeah. And like, um, when Walter comes on, they come on and they sing, or Devin comes on and plays a bit. After a while, they get on the drums and they play some songs. Yeah. So 
you just want to kind of expand on and probably be two drum sets on the road and a few drum sets and stuff. That'd be cool. Kind of expand our show. Yeah, you're at 10% there. That's okay. <laughs> so, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, so, yeah, I, I, want, to, save? I want to. Good Get question. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I don't know. I'm going to run a little more of the show out of the YouTube. Yeah. Because it gets kind of boring to say this. Well, if this thing's going to die, then. So, you open up the what? Words of wisdom. Genesis? Stay in school. Stay in school. Stay in school. Stay in I wish I still have that Chuck E. Cheese CD. Oh, yeah. If you go to Chuck E. Cheese, get the Chuck E. Cheese CD. It was only like 15 tickets. It's really good. Yeah. Do your homework. Do your fucking homework. Stay in school, kids. Actually, I don't know. I have actually really conflicting opinions about public school and regurgitation. So I, I, I don't <laughs> want to tell kids not to do their homework, but don't, don't let do your homework. I love school because it was one big acting course. Yeah. <laughs> like, Just learning how to get yeah, along and be pushed around by your higher up. I think I'm alright. Oh, I think you're more.